Drug Dogs 10, the California Quake 6. Welcome back, everyone, to Roller Jam Arena. It's halftime. I'm Ken Resnick, along with Lee Berman and Buddy Atkinson, Jr. It was a virtual offensive explosion in that first half. In fact, 11 different jammers were able to break into the scoring column, and we have not seen that kind of offense in quite some time here in the WSL. But now, Buddy Atkinson, one thing I want to talk to you about. It seems that ever since the California Quakes traded Brian Gallagher to the Texas Rustlers, when they needed offense, they have been turning to Eric Slovey and Anthony Santiago, the two youngest men on the team. Is that too much pressure for these young kids? No, they're wide open and ready to go. In fact, I think the playbook has probably been rewritten, and you're going to see a lot more of these guys doing it. Well, we may well see a lot more of them in the second half because the Quakes have some points to make up. And Lee Rearman on the other side of the coin, taking away from the point scored. That was a half as physical, wild, and woolly as I've seen. Well, it was physical. We had both substance and sizzle. And to add to what Buddy Atkinson Jr. said, I think that Santiago and Slopey like to dance. We always see the low rider and the white pony together. That's why they get out. But physical, physical, physical. We saw Denise, we saw Denise Loden, and we saw Sean Atkinson truly delivering that physical. Right here, you see the bulldog by Denise Loden. And then her boyfriend, Sean Atkinson, not to be outdone, picks up some of our furniture, goes after Captain America, Bill Parker Loden lowers the boom on him, and of course he's a little bit tired, so he decides to take a seat, kid. Well, one thing the Florida Sundays are going to have to do is turn to a gentleman by the name of David Glenny if they're going to counteract this physical play of the likes of Sean Atkinson and Rusty Montgomery. In fact, our cameras caught up with David Glenny, who has a very unusual group of friends. The swamplands of Florida can be frightening. Danger greets you at every turn. But this is where Gator Gleddy feels at home. If you think he's tough on the track, you ain't seen nothing yet. David Gleddy grew up in the swamp of Central Florida. And in high school, when most kids his age were flipping burgers, he was working on a Gator farm wrestling Gators. I'm David Gleddy for the Florida Sun Dogs. And I'm going to show you how I earned the name Gator Gleddy. People ask me, hey, Dave, why are you like it down here in the room? Hey, I grew up out here. That's how it is. If you don't like it, go back to the big city. Buddy's fearless attitude makes him one of the toughest blockers in the WSL. Some would call him courageous, while others would say he's downright psychotic. But no matter what you call him, he's always looking to take a bite out of the competition. Hey, New York, how you doing? After spending his days with alligators, David Glennie might be one of the few Sundogs that thinks the annex of Sean Atkinson might be a little mild. Speaking of which, he's standing by with our Broadway Danny Wolf. Sean Atkinson, you guys are down by four points. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. We're just starting to go, man. We're going to get serious. We've been like a V8 engine. We're starting to hit all cylinders, man. Look at all the crap. I'll tell you what, Rusty gets knocked down. Who's the only quake that went to his aid? You. Sean, that's right. You know why? Because I'm a loyal team member. That's right, baby. Oh, Daddy, I'm loyal. I'm Let me loyal. ask you real quickly, though. How committed are you to Denise Loden? Completely. Completely. She's the love of my life. There is no doubt all of Sean Atkinson's teammates are questioning where his priorities do indeed really lie. Now, as an offshoot of that, like it or not, Rusty Montgomery is finding himself cast into a leadership role. Now, buddy, in that second period, Montgomery really tried to take a leadership role out of play, but boy, did it ever backfire. In fact, why don't you take us through it, if you would? Well, let's take a look right here. We're noticing uh, he's getting a setup right now, and it's really a nice shot he gives Smith. But watch where, out of nowhere, Barker puts a break on, does a straight line, and watch this arm right across right across that guy's neck, and down this boy is going to go. Kaboom. It's out and over. Woo. Bang. Big one. Well, certainly Rusty Montgomery may think twice about where he is on the track, and it's an absolute certainty he will be keeping his eyes ahead of him with the Florida Sundog. At any rate, we'll be back with more right after this. <laughs> 